Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to New World. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm kind of trying to figure out what we want to do here. I, I think we're just going to head north and maybe we'll knock out the main quest here uh, that we have marked near the Kanan tomb. And then we can kind of do the opposite loop that we did last time. Last time we kind of went south to north. This time we can go the opposite way and try to hit some of these objectives. Uh, end up down here. At the uh, Perilbrook Hunt. I did turn in some things to the command board and picked up a couple of follow-up quests. They tend to be pretty repetitive uh, for both the quests we pick up from the town board and our faction quests. It seems like a lot of them are, are simply very repeatable. Uh, I don't really know how that's going to be over time. I guess it's going to depend on how necessary those quests are to stay at the appropriate level for the main quest. I can see that if you have to farm a lot of the repeatable quests, that's going to get tedious after a while. So uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it feels. Uh, I am going to just dump more points into strength here, I think. I'm going to have to start working on constitution soon, I think. But I kind of wanted to get towards this first uh, node there. But I don't know if we're going to be able to focus strength all the way to that without having our health pool be really, really low. Everything seems to be running a little bit smoother today. I can tell that a lot of people are getting ahead and the players are spreading out into the world and not as much congestion except sometimes in the towns. Uh, I probably shouldn't be running through all these enemies. But maybe we can outpace them. I am going to want to... Well, I'm not going to be able to lay a, a tent down here anywhere because we're in an area, so... Let's see. Yeah, see, we can't do any camping in landmark areas. So any area that has a name, basically, uh, we're not going to be able to lay a tent down or set up a camp or anything. Here we go. Here's the corruption mass uh, that we were looking for. We were tracking down these different masses of corruption that are popping up over the area as part of our main story quest that we're working on. Let's take out the swarmer here. Oh, there's another... Alright, now part of me wants to... Let's run back and turn this in, actually, because... If they give us more quests to do out this way, like more, another main scenario quest out here, I kind of want to be able to do it as we do this stuff. I just want to kind of minimize how often we have to return to the same areas. Uh, because it seems like for their quest structure, we're already going to be going back to the same areas multiple times. I know that this game started off as mainly a PvP crafting sandbox, and that like basically all of the PvE stuff was added throughout the alpha and beta. And so I think that's why they have us revisiting a lot of areas because it's, it's easier to write a quest and put down some objectives. It's harder to create like an entirely new unique area for that quest to take place in. And so they're, they're reusing a lot of the same areas for their quests. Oops, I realized I didn't skin the last guy. I am trying to like keep abreast of my skinning. I don't know that it's really going to benefit us very much because we're not really making light or leather armor. Kind of want to be making the heavier armor, but without finding iron nodes, uh, maybe we will look at crafting some medium armor. At least to fill slots until we get decent drops. I wonder if I could just, I probably could have just hearthed back to town, right? How often can we do this? I haven't used it yet. Let's just use it. See how that goes.
Oh, no more voice acting? Okay. When I heard that the Shattered Mountain was erupting again, I knew it meant trouble. I didn't think we'd be under direct assault so soon, however. Did you spot any corruption out there? Oh yeah, we did. But we destroyed it. Well, that's a relief, I suppose. Though it would have been better had you found none at all. I think we may need to start searching for a better strategy sooner rather than later. How do you propose we do that? There's an old man who lives on the river in Monarch's Bluffs, apparently an expert on corruption. I think you should seek him out. Talk to the innkeeper before you go. They need a favor from outside of the territory as well. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to like push that main story if it's within level range and kind of forego some of the side quests and side missions, which seem like they're great for getting currency with our faction to eventually buy gear, but I kind of want to see more of the story and get into like different areas. You've become a real regular around here, haven't you? Hope this place is starting to feel comfortable. I have a question, however. Do you ever venture outside the settlement? Yeah, all the time. Fantastic. And I've run up a little debt with Inkeep Kamau up in Everfall. She loaned me some Azoth. If you go tell her the Azoth is coming soon, she'll pay the cost for you to fast travel back. She's going to waste a resource just for my word that she's going to get paid? Like, economically, that's not really a sound plan. But well, okay. Yes, it just costs a little Azor, like everything else, right? Uh, I guess. But yes, if you give her my message and return, I'll give you a little Azoth myself. I'm sure you will. So Azoth is the currency that we're kind of using to teleport around. I kind of thought I heard back in the alpha that it was something you use to access dungeons as well. I do appreciate you delivering my message to Inkeep Kamau. What I'm hoping is that they don't end up trying to sell you Azoth on the, uh, on the game store. Uh, which it seems like they probably will. Uh, okay, yeah, we can head out and we can hit number four along the way. And then just continue on out to our main story quest. Because I do want to see, get through more of the main story. Uh, I did get through, like, up to level 20, I think, in the beta. So I've seen a bit of it. Okay, how am I, can I not get out here to the, no, I have to go up to the main road and out and around. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, basically I just want to see more. And get into some different areas. I don't really want a bunch of hours of the gameplay just being us doing circles, doing the same uh, repetitious quests. Which it seems like something you could do to grind XP and grind currency rep. Uh, but for the kind of playthrough that I'm going for, I do want to be advancing the story when it's level appropriate. Let's do more like this. So we're searching for chests. Or searching chests, okay. Items that could be valuable to the Marauder campaign. A lot of the lighting effects in this game just look really beautiful. The game looks its best, in my opinion, when you're at, like, sunrise or close to sunset. Just absolutely gorgeous sometimes. Alright, so we're looking for chest on the ground again. You can kind of see that a lot of the quests are very similar to each other. Uh, we're oftentimes, when we're doing quests in an area, we are searching for chests to pick up. Or we are killing guys, or we are clicking blow glowy blue things on the ground. And I guess you could say, like, there aren't a lot of different quests that an MMO could have you do. You, you are held to some, some sort of limitations on, on what the quest could be like, but... I feel like having some more, like, story-oriented side quests would be better, because a lot of the side quests... You, you don't really go out and then interact with more NPCs and find out things that are going on out in the field. You just interact with the NPC back in town. That NPC sends you out to a place, and then you go back. It'd be cool if we came out here and, like, there were some characters that we meet who were also doing stuff in the area, and we kind of build those characters and keep them through different parts of, the, of a zone. 
like side characters who are actually out in the world and not just uh, chilling back in town. Could be something to make the quest feel a little bit different. Uh, let's eat up because, yeah, we have 13 minor potions, so no need to be stingy with those. I guess I should pop that like on cooldown if we're low on health. All right, supply cache here. There we go. There's a tactical map. Part of what we're looking for, but I, I don't think we have this pin, so we're not tracking it in our quest log. There we go. That's better. Departure January 17th. I had a curious visitor a few days ago, a Frenchwoman, Emma Cartier, a, ta a tanner of buffalo, but more of the look of a hunter about her, oddly enough. She had heard of me and the piano and sought me out to see it for herself. She seemed surprised by my disposition, but did not inquire deeply about it. I sensed she had lost someone, yet is at peace with it. Quite uncharacteristic of me, I asked her how she had come to cope. She said that the isle itself awoke her. Some saw it as a hell, a curse, a purgatory, some as a paradise, but that no one truly knew it at all. It was life, she said, and the isle gave birth to all manner of wonders to feed our curiosity. We were not the first here, she told me. Others were here. You can see it in the ruins to the north, the great spheres upon the plains. This was a city once all around us. I inquired what happened to the city and the people before us. She smiled and said, Mr. Greenville, perhaps you were brought here to answer that question. So rude. So rude. And yeah, we've aggroed you as well. Alright, uh, continuing to look for crates. And see, they deliver so much of the backstory and the history through these little books that it would be great to like actually be getting some of this from characters who are out and about in the world. Because otherwise it's just like a lot of reading. Who's the king in Emerald? Days of interviewing the locals and dozens more games... Dozen more games of draughts with the Zadok have reaped some reward. This dancing plague, if it happened at all, happened long ago. Time is a tricky thing here. The details vary from mouth to mouth. All agree that a great many died. Some even suggest their exhausted bodies died permanently. Some think the plague a punishment. These fertile lands saw endless war and strife by those who wished to control it. It is thought the land eventually had enough. This is all connected to a very loose myth cycle of a figure known as the King in Emerald, also called the Verdant Death and the Music That Eats. Opinions vary whether this is meant to be an actual entity or simply the madness of the dancing given al allegorical form, a shape seen in the delirious ecstasy. Only a portion of the community believe in any of this, and they think we should enjoy the bounty of the land very quietly. Yeah, I don't know what any of this is about. This is the first we've heard of uh, the King and Emerald, so that was a little bit weird. Supply stockpile upstairs here. Usually worth it to investigate the buildings if they have multiple stories. Oh, it did have a quest item in it as well. And we got a great axe. How's our weight looking? Ooh, our weight is not looking good. Probably want to... Okay, we're getting attacked by something or am I standing in fire? Oh, hi there. How are you? Somebody pointed out to me that when the enemies have that white glow about them, they have what's called grit. And when an enemy has grit, you can't do things like interrupt it or knock it on its behind by your abilities. So that makes sense as to why sometimes our knockbacks and stuff weren't working with the Great Hammer. It's because they're not going to work anytime an enemy is glowing white with grit. Yeah, 
I'm noticing we need seven of these things, which is uh, actually quite a few. Let's go check this building over here. Yikes, that was like a combo that we probably should have blocked through. This guy is beating the living crap out of us. That was a huge whiff. Turkey, we need you, Turkey. And then someone else let me know that the gold or blue diamond, the very small gold or blue diamond that appears above an enemy means that you need them for a quest. Makes perfect sense. And had I known that last time, we probably would have been killing more of the turkeys because we do need them. That was a whiff too. Alright, that guy startled me a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, you know, maybe we've already collected this and I'm just not paying attention to what buildings I've been in and which I haven't. Let's take a look in the main house over this way. But let's clear this guy out, so because he's probably going to aggro us anyway. And yeah, so we can't lunge over walls. Let's uh, keep that in mind here. Go ahead and pop a potion here so we don't die. That would be a good idea. These guys are strong against impact damage, so we do need to keep our sword out, unfortunately. As much as I want to get some experience with the hammer, it just isn't going to happen right now. Maybe we need to go, like, north of the road and look around over there. And we've aggroed somebody. I really just can't nail that, can I? Yeah, these guys, uh, fighting two of these guys is kind of rough. All right, we dropped the one. And we pulled this one. Just harvest some potatoes here. No big deal. I 
An untouched piano. January 3rd, I find myself sitting at the piano more of late, yet my fingers do not touch the keys. Of all the items I salvaged from the wreckage, it has withstood time's erosion where all else in my life has not. In burying Genevieve and Simon, I felt as if I buried a part of myself. There is nothing to strive for, nothing more the island holds for me. Even the presence of the nearby outpost I find grating. The incessant traffic of merchants and animals back and forth on the roads. Uh, they don't use... Burst of beaten... Burst... <laughs> beast of burden. Robert speaks. Take two. They don't use beast of burden on Eternum. That's why we don't have mounts. So what does it mean, animals? A little bit of a plot hole, just saying. Uh, unless, like, the animals are just sentiently, like, on their own, walking back and forth from the town and the, and the settlement. Which I guess is possible. But yeah, there are no horses or pack horses or camels or anything like that. Um, yeah. Humor is that the only time I hit the lunge is from basically point blank range. All right, this should be our last one that we can get out of here. That took uh, too long for a little side quest that I wanted to do just on my way. I feel like compared to the beta, it takes much longer for our weapons to level up after a certain level. It would help if I had like, you know, gone the correct way and not like back into the fighting area. Now we're going to pull about 20 things running across this uh, area. That's fine. We should be able to outrun most of it. And we'll try to grab any turkeys along the way. And if we see any hares, that would be good too. Look at that. Uh, worst ability I ever decided to purchase, I'm guessing, is how I can't really use it effectively. Um, nothing against the skill itself, just my ability to aim with the reticle. Which is probably a good reason why I shouldn't use ranged weapons. Okay, we have to do something about uh, our weight situation here. And the easiest way to do that is just to break down all the stuff we have. I don't really know if I'm going to put a lot of effort into trying other weapons. I feel like every level we get with a different weapon is just kind of wasted right now. Uh, when we, what we really need to be doing is working on the weapons that we're using. Because after a little bit, you don't get a lot of skill ups. It's also kind of an adjustment for me to think about this like as an MMO where I'm at level 13. And thinking that the active abilities I have for this class, this side of the sword tree and hammer tree like i'm not gonna get any more active abilities 
Like, that's it. I can try the other spec and I can get three different active abilities. I can go into that, I can mix and match. But like, just talking about uh, the spec that we are, like, we're not going to get any more abilities in this spec at all, ever, for the rest of the game. Uh, and that's a little bit, like, strange from, like, an MMO perspective. Okay, what are we doing here exactly? Obtain Briar Branch's skin? Oh, jeez. Okay, this is another side quest. I, I meant to be taking us down here, and I've taken us right to the side quest like a big dum-dum. That's what happens when I get talking. Okay, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for rabbits and stuff. I'm just not going to focus this right now. But we will, we will keep our eyes peeled. And yeah, they seem to be rather scarce. You know, I haven't seen a lot of rabbits, and even for all that, we just ran through. We didn't, uh... So someone let me know we had to equip the fishing rod and then press E. Uh, let's see if, like, maybe we can do this. Did I, like, disenchant the fishing rod or something? No, I have it here. Yeah, I mean, it's equipped as much as it can be, right? We, we can't, uh... And then someone else mentioned that I needed to check my keybinds. Uh, key binding, aim, shoot, melee, life stat, fishing, toggle, fishing mode. Yeah, that's gonna reassign E. Uh, maybe I just do this. There we go. There we go. Hey, look at that. I have no idea what we're doing. Are we waiting? Are we just waiting? I clearly don't have the patience to be a, a fisherman. We can equip bait. Yeah, this seems like something that could eat up hours of a person's time. Get ready. Reel it in, okay? Okay, we don't want to click there, right? Because that means it's going to break the line if it's orange or red. Otherwise, we keep clicking, clicking, clicking. Oh, we can hold. We can hold it in. We don't have to keep clicking. All right, we don't want to do it when it's orange, though. Hey, there we go. Level one fishing. We did it. We caught a fish. Small perch. Great, we hold it up and show it off. That's cool. All right, yeah, I don't know how much fishing I'll be doing. Um, recorded, at least. I feel like I could do some of that stuff if I have, like, free time. Oh, uh, let's exit fishing. There we go. Okay, we have exited fishing mode. It's like a whole different mode your character goes into. A lot of you guys said E was supposed to be the default. I just wonder why mine got unbound. Seems a little weird. Turkey, we need you. Oh, <laughs> of course. We missed. Of course we would. I keep seeing these and I have no idea what they are, but we, we can't do anything with them. These have both stopped tracking for reasons unknown. 